Alright, this video I'm going to talk about how to bench press more weight. Um, you know, when you're bench pressing, it's working on your, your chest muscles, your pectorials. It's working on your triceps a lot. It's working on your forearms, your wrists, um, even your shoulders a little bit. So, it's a, a big over, you know, overall upper body exercise. The motion is very similar to a push-up and it's different from the push-up um, because it does force you to have, you know, stricter form. There's a lot of different ways to cheat with the push-up, but with the bench press, um, it's not that easy to cheat. I mean, you got to bring it all the way down to your chest and you got to bring it back up. Alright, so there's also different grip levels. Like, there's a strong point that you have. And you need to figure out where that is for you, but typically it's like about right here where the chest line is, and about your hand, your arms like right here. The closer that you have it in, the weaker you'll be, because then you're just focusing all on triceps. And if you have it out too too wide, that's not gonna be good either. So it has to be like a balanced, you know. You gotta find that strength, and it's about right here. And there's markers on this bar to sh to help you measure to make sure that you're consistent with your grip so you got the strongest grip every time that you do it okay so I like to put my ring or my pinky finger where the marker is some people like to put their ring finger where the marker is on each side um, some people like to hold it in closer like I said it's harder actually when they hold it in closer but it depends on the person um, to increase your bench, you know, you got to work a lot on the, pu the push-ups. You got to do a lot of dips. Um, a lot of dips, a lot of push-ups. That will help your bench, okay? You got to try to get the strong wrists. Try to work on getting strong forearms as well. Do some wrist curls. All right, so if you got a weak wrist, you're not going to be able to do it. All right? Even the shoulders, you know, getting stronger shoulders will help too. Like being able to lift weights over your head. Alright, so I like to do the bench press, you know, whenever I want to. You know, I just, I don't overdo it. I just do one set. Every time I do it, I just do one set. Or just like, not just one set, but I'll just work out the chest just straight through. I'll just do a heavy weight and then I'll put lighter weight or I'll just finish it out with some push ups. You know, so I like to just maintain what I have and just um, gradually build if I can but I don't overdo it you know I try to work out the entire body so what I like to do is I like to put on some heavy weight this is 205 pounds here and then I want to do as many as I can alright when you bring it down you breathe in when you bring it up you breathe out breathe in breathe out breathe in Breathe out. That's the motion that you want to go through. So I like to use a little bit heavy weight first. I like to stay around, like, try to do around 10 reps. And then after that, I lighten up the weight and then I'll do some more. So I'll show you what I like to do. So I like to grab the bar with my pinky where the marker is. And I want to go for 10. This is 205. Now, I'm going to take off some weight. We'll take the 35 off. So 
this is 135 now. Now I'm just going to work on different grips just to do a variety of grips so that I'm strong at different ranges. So first off, start off with a close grip. Like right here. here a little bit farther apart. And finally, back to the original grip. gonna even do more stuff. We'll bring you over here. Work some flies. So here we'll specifically target the chest. So you see how I just keep everything going? Just keep it moving. And then after that, I can even do more with this machine. Just do some presses. Inside grip first. And outside grip. And there it is. You know, I like to do it like that, just basically do a bunch of stuff, one right after another, tire out the chest, and just move on to the next body group, you know, muscle group. But that's what I recommend, those type of exercises, and just keep doing it. See if you can do it every day, or five times a week, at the very least, three times a week. And um, I promote more of a natural development and um, not to overly focus on just one muscle group, but work the entire body.